And it looks like some orange munchers have found their way in here. Guess that's my fault for moving the boxes. The broken machinery lay strewn about the complex like the despair littering the hearts of the Kichta. Once their crowning achievement, the great machine now sat lifeless, a haunting monument to the cruel fate of their race. Squire Warwick learned that the Orne Muka brought life to the Kichta and their machines. He also learned that their vast stockpiles had been stolen by the nobles. So clearly all those Muka statues I've been picking up will be coming in you soon. I better not make him angry. Yeah, here he goes. Let's just kill a few of these invading munchers. Well, clearly it's up to me and my Muka to help these mongrels out. Let's talk to Uchdar again and see if he can tell me how to get started. Okay, so I have to go talk to Menderu first. There's another door here, but can't get in there right now. Luca Luke. Okay, back to Uchdar we go. Because I need to find those modules. In other words, the blue plates. Yeah. Okay, I'll make another appointment.
Well, I have some. So it's just a classic series of fetch quests. Let's get the blueprints out of the maze. And now I have a key to get into that door. Alright. Let's go and do it. Here's a bunch of transport pads. Let's just get started with one. And what have we here? It's a mongrel head. No doubt that's the head of Saburuk's father. And we, and we got another module. And here's the wires I was looking for. Now I just have to find the proper combination of these wall levers. It takes me a while, but finally I get there. Moving on. Now this one's dangerous. I use the haste spell just to be on the safe side. I'll push this colorful thing into the electric beam. And another two modules to pick up. That's the one I came out of. Hey, that opened a door, let a robot out. Aha! Those are jar of nectar and mana potion. It's not much of a puzzle, really. All of this is pretty straightforward. What have we here? It's the blueprints, but I can't get to them yet. But now I can move the switch and get at the blueprints. Got nearly everything now. Right, the crystals, and he gave those to Sabarak, who lost the severed head of his father, and I have the severed head of his father in my pocket. Okay, that's solved. Now 
Alright, alright. I'll kill some more munchers. Well, I should be finished by now. There he is. Now I have all the modules, so it's time to see what the great machine does. And this is something that happens quite often in the game. One of the narrator's lines is supposed to trigger, but it doesn't. No doubt he's just saying something like, Squire Warwick activated the great machine and was surprised at the noise it made. Well, I have those Mooka statues that aren't going anywhere. Squire Warwick held up the first Mooka loop to be made in many years, unsure as yet of the implications of this creation. Well, you may have noticed what the Mooka look actually looks like. It looks like one of the centerpieces on one of those transport pads. So, yes, I can use them to reactivate those broken transporters. I'll just convert my whole stash of statues because they don't serve any other purpose. Okay, that's all of them, and I have plenty to activate all the transport pads in the game now. Okay, so I also need to activate the Great Drill with one of my Mookaluks. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. It is a slight problem, because Kelchum won't let me near the drill. Let's get Urulu to follow us to the big drill. And once again, the game glitches out for me here. Kelchum is supposed to get mad that Urulu is in here again and chase him off. Which gives me an opportunity to put a Mookaluk in the drill. But since he doesn't react, I have only one choice, and that is to attack Kelchim. Squire Warwick fixed the large drilling machine, enabling the last of the Kichta to once again mine the precious ore, Muka. Okay, I just saved the Kichta mongrels from extinction, so that's pretty good. And if you're worried about Kelchum, well, the mongrels are basically regenerating robots. So if you accidentally kill one, in a little while it regenerates as if nothing happened.
No, oh, I could have guessed that. And finally, after resurrecting himself, Kelchum notices that Urlu is in the drill room and chases him out. Well, better late than never, I guess. And Uchdar isn't in his room. Or in his other room. Hmm. Well, let's try reactivating this one. After having lain dormant for so long, the Kichta machine was surprisingly easy to bring back to life. Squire Warwick questioned why creatures who could create such marvelous machines had been the victims of genocide. At the same time, he wondered where this ancient device would lead him. Well, let's find out. It leaves me on a little island. Where I find a mana charm. I'm gonna assume that it either increases the amount of mana I have, or it increases my mana regeneration, or maybe both. Well, I'm just about done here, so I'll head for the exit. Ah, uh, there's Uchtar. A fireball spell. I guess you could say I can now kill it with... No, 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 I won't say that. No, no. Yep, I fixed everything. Uh, actually, I'll have just one more look inside. Ah, look at that. When he returned to their hall, Squire Warwick was pleased to find the Kichta mongrels multiplying. In a few short years, he knew these chambers would no longer seem empty. Well, they've wasted no time making some mini Kichta. Very cute. Yeah, I'm almost certain that this little quest actually can't be solved. I played the game from front to end and explored just about everything I could, but I've never found the Kichta history book. And for the record, I've tried saving the history book that I found in the Fellowed area before, but it's not the book they're looking for. <laughs> okay, now I'm really done in Kitchen Chup. Time to get outside again and do some more questing. 